Oh, I learned that we're a resilient group. Um, pretty consistent. You know, there was some games we weren't perfect, but found different ways to win, different guys chipping in, which is what good teams do. Uh, pretty good focus, you know, on uh, the things that we need to do to have success and learn that our guys were able to, you know, adapt and change a little bit in some different areas of our game that are now having success, penalty kill number one. And, um, you know, with some guys out of the lineup, the guys are able to move around and do some different jobs and do them well. So I, I think it's amazing month from our from our guys really it's a lot of hockey a lot of travel you know obviously they enjoy playing at home during the streak is there a specific moment that stands out to them whether or not it's against some of the team or a win or is there is there a one moment is the big one well i think there's two for me and it's a comeback win against uh toronto and then the one against boston the other night just Guys not wanting to uh, give up on on the streak and what we have going on in both those instances. I think uh, you know Toronto was a little earlier on in that, um, but to be able to find a way to come back against two real good teams when it wasn't coming easy for us, I thought it showed a lot of character. You've been asked. Uh, you said a lot of these you're being asked about and talking about now. You're talking about what has he done to be so immediate and sure you're leaving today? He's great buy-in commitment to defend and play the right way uh there's a grittiness and a tenaciousness to his game so he's he's hard on pucks uh he's putting the work before the skill and his skill shining through um and he's been very competitive and very consistent that that that's how i would summarize that um every night seems like i know exactly what i'm going to get from him and and it's competitive hockey why don't, you, why don't you just move him up to the first line? What to say that when you don't do that, that he fits in so well as a guy on the second line, whoever it is? Well, I've had him on the first line. Even tonight, I played him on the first line for a while. But I'm just getting him extra ice time. That line the other night in uh, Chicago, the second line. So the first time Mac got hurt, he played on the first line. I had Miko in center for a while, and then I moved Naz up there doing the same thing now I think it's great experience for Miko I think Miko enjoys it I think he's doing a really good job at it and I think it's important that he you know experiences that and arrives down in d-zone coverage low and has to work his way out of that uh, Landy does a lot of that with Mac and Miko Mac does a lot of it and, and now we're seeing Miko do it so the better they are defensively those top three guys and the better that they are getting in and out of their zone and arriving down in there, the more success they're going to have. We all know what they can do at the other end of the rink, so that's part of Miko's area of improvement, and he's been great at it. And then in Chicago the other night, they, that line uh, now has had three points, and the line scored uh, two goals, even strength. So that's a reward for Nui, and Naz just kept it going. He was, he was great, so why mess with it? I started Berkey on the second line. I just didn't feel like I was getting enough out of him. So I moved Sakura there because um, I like his skill and his, uh, you know, his ability to play with the puck. First shift, he has a scoring chance. Second shift, he has another scoring chance and picks up an assist on the goal. So it looked like to me like Sakura was going to help our team more in that role than Berkey was. So Berkey went down to the fourth line in Sakura spot. Your just second period break. Yeah. And then you finish with seven third shots and you sound so dangerous. Do you, do you comment about that special hockey that you want to be on top of this? Yeah, well we I think they came out really hungry. Um at the start of the second period and they outworked us. Our focus wasn't great, our execution was poor. Um routine passes just in the skates. If you if you don't execute you can't play fast. So a lot of missed passes, errant passes uh turnovers again in that stretch and they came at us a lot like chicago did at times in the chicago game uh then we get the big goal um from naz um with assist of uh, new hook and sakura 
and you could feel our bench kind of come to life again. And then we got the power play coming out of it, and our top guys were on the ice and scored on that, and we kind of carried it through the period, which is what we needed to do and to, to win the hockey game. So good on them for being able to turn it around. Didn't like the, the stretch at the start of the period, though, but you got to give Buffalo some credit. They can skate, and they got some skilled players, and uh, they made it hard on us, and, and we made it hard on ourselves as well. How much of that is what we talk a lot about, the, the kind of mental lapses in your guys' game and how much of that was, you know, everyone out there is a really good hockey player and sometimes Buffalo just plays fast? Well, I think it's both. Like, there's plays that they make where they check the puck back and then they make a play and, and create something offensively. And there's other ones where we have all kinds of time. We're not talking enough. We're throwing the puck away. We're making air and passes. So that's on us more than it is on them. But I'd say a little bit of both. Jared, way back in uh, September, Yeah. Is that still the way you see it, or is this a trend going into something that you see kind of? It's, it's still the way I see it. Yeah, that's what Darcy's here to do. He's done a great job at it. I do think that now that Frankie's healthy, he's taken on a bigger role in our hockey team. And then there may be stretches that we go through where he's playing more than Darcy, but for now, Darcy's doing a great job getting the job done. Frankie's getting the job done, so I still see it that way a little so bit. You call it more of a tandem this time, but it seems pretty different with the schedule and the way everything else is going. They're, well, they're always a tandem. Um, I just think that it's been more balanced just because of the workload, but that workload is not changing over the next few months. Coach, how do you feel about those breaks coming up? Do you want to stop playing? <laughs> Yeah, I think I think we need a break, to be honest with you. I think part of the, you know, these stretches in these games that have been kind of sloppy, it's it's um, it's focus, and part of that focus, I think, is mental fatigue. It's been a lot of hockey, and we're not the only ones going through it. I mean, you watch how Buffalo played in the first ten minutes. I'm sure they had stretches of the game they didn't like, and doesn't matter the opponent. You know, it's the same thing. Um, it's it's been. A long, hard month, lots of games, and and in order to be at our best, sort of coming out of that break, I think we need to break. Jared, you had uh, Kane come in for Gerard on the five on three. Yeah. What's the thought process between him and Matt? Taser's a great shooter. Okay. Yeah, great shooter. Uh, left shot, right shot with um, with Makar and and Taser at the top. Normally, that'd be McKinnon's spot, obviously, um, but. There's some things you can do with the lefty righty, and I like the way he shoots the puck. A couple more here, guys. What would you say? Where's Kale's physicality this year compared to last season? I think it's slowly been on the rise from the start of his career. Yeah. I think he picks his spots because he's such a great skater that often he doesn't have to just go ramming through guys in order to take the puck. He uses his angles, his skating, and his stick ability to strip guys a lot. Um, makes really good reads there, but um, you know we, we've seen him even from the beginning of his career with us make some big hits, and he's a solid player. Um, this year, I think we're just seeing it a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jared. Yep. Thanks. Appreciate it.